Hello again, fellow podcaster, and welcome back to Pod Theory. As always, I am your host, Jason Sircone, and today I'm going to answer the question, what is the cardinal rule of podcasting? Now, there's a number of ways I could go to answer that question, but I'm going to cut right to the chase. What is the cardinal rule of podcasting? It's all about the listener. With every episode you produce, you, you have to be thinking about the experience the listener will have consuming your content. Now, this encapsulates many, many items. Is your audio quality up to par? Are you recording in a quiet environment? Are guests and hosts talking over one another throughout the show? Is the direction of the conversation staying on point? If your podcast is PG, is there too much swearing and vulgarity? Is there distracting background noise like music or a dog barking? That's just scratching the surface. Like I said, there's a number of things that you have to be thinking about, but the overall overarching theme is creating that ultimate listener experience because you want them to come back for future episodes. And if you have a show that doesn't do that, they may turn off the show for good and you lose a listener. And if that starts to snowball, you might as well pack it up and go home. Your listeners will come to expect a certain quality from you with each and every episode that they listen to. And if your quality is not up to snuff, the likelihood of that listener coming back for another episode is just not very good. Here's a quick story about a podcast episode that I did years ago that really tells the story. And it's really where I learned this cardinal rule. The first podcast that I ever did was a beer podcast. And as you can imagine, on a beer podcast, we would consume beers from time to time. Well, one episode, and this was towards the end of the production of that podcast, I was doing some wind down episodes, and me and a bunch of my friends decided to go to a brewery, have some beers, and then go back to my friend's garage where they make beer in their garage, and we decided we were just going to have a little party, and we we're going to make a podcast out of it. I had all of my equipment. So there was probably at least a dozen of us had all been drinking all day and we decided to record this. Now there were moments where I had gone to the restroom and I missed certain things that happened. I was also present for some things that were absolutely ridiculous. The bottom line is when I got home the next day and I pulled that podcast out to edit and I started listening to what we had produced, I was, I just, I just sat and shook my head. It was it was absolutely ridiculous. Now, don't get me wrong. We had a blast recording it, but as I was editing it, there, there were points where somebody had a fart gun up to the microphone. People were talking over one another. You, you can imagine how obnoxious we all were, having been three sheets to the wind and trying to produce a podcast. Now, within all of that, there was some good conversation and, and, and some good things did come from it, but... Overall, the complete presentation that was being produced was bad. It was very bad. And that's where I, I, as I was editing that podcast, now, and I I should say, and this was a rookie mistake, I still did put the show out. Now, again, this podcast is no longer on the internet. And because it was one of the wrap-up episodes to the entire production, I just let it roll. I think now in my more experienced podcast life, I'd probably say we can't air this. But I can say what I learned from editing that podcast was the cardinal rule. Now, as I was going through everything, like I said, I, I, I just stopped and asked myself, if I'm not enjoying listening to this, why is anybody else? And again, Even asking myself that question then, I still put the podcast out there for everyone to consume because maybe I was trying to see. Again, rookie mistake, but be that as it may, it was there that I realized that it's, it's all about the listener. No matter what the content of your podcast is, always, always, always keep your audience in mind. With every episode that you produce, ask yourself, is this something I'd want to listen to? If the answer is no, chances are your audience is going to feel the same way. And if an episode that you feel is below your standards is the first one someone finds, they're probably not coming back for more. It's all about the listener. Write that down. That's a wrap on today's episode of Pod Theory. Are you liking this ride so far? If so... 
please take 30 seconds to rate and review the show on your favorite podcast platform. By doing that, you help others find pod theory. And that's the name of the game. Good talk. I'll see you back here tomorrow. This has been Jason Sircone on Pod Theory.